let's be honest. All of us have wondered from time to time what our partners think about our genitals. And if you really want to know, like really want to know what women think about your penis, well, you are watching the right video, my friend. And I guarantee the answers are going to surprise you. And while the media may have you believe that all of the ladies are out there looking for an anaconda, life is more than just a Nicki Minaj song. If you thought that the penis debate ended at big or small, well, you are in for a surprise because categorizing penises is a tale as old as time. And there are a lot of factors that people have considered throughout history. In this video, I'm gonna share some penis categories that I'll bet you have never heard of. And then I'm going to explain what types of female genitalia feel best with different sizes, shapes, curves, lengths, trajectories, etc., of male genitalia. I'm not an expert at any of these. I'm gonna give you a very high level YouTube style explanation. And if you're interested in looking into those more thoroughly, please do and go learn them in the context and the culture that they were created in. All right, number one, vata, pitta, and kapha, penis. This is from the ancient wisdom of Ayurveda from India. These are the same people, generally speaking, who brought us Tantra, so I'm pretty sure they know what they're talking about. Ayurveda is often referred to as the science of life. It's a holistic medical system that originated over 3,000 years ago, and it approaches health and wellness from all different angles. It's a very holistic system. It includes nutrition, lifestyle, sexual health. And in this tradition, Ayurveda describes three main types of male genitals based on the dosha which to put simplistically are sort of types of energies. Number two, the Native American tradition of Kudoshka. This system, which categorizes male genitalia into nine animal named types, each with distinct characteristics, and this is actually my favorite system. It focuses not just on shape and size, but many other characteristics, like how quickly he gets to orgasm, how much ejaculate he has, what the ejaculate even tastes like. I'm gonna be doing a follow-up video with a little bit of a deeper dive on this system system itself. Suffice it to say that each of the different types of man has a completely different type of love making, not just based on those strictly physical qualities, but actually how he behaves in bed, his seduction type, the way that he is with a partner. Number three system for us today is the Taoist yin and yang. Now, many of us have heard of the concept of yin yang, yin yang, if you grew up in the Midwest like me, but did you know that it is also applied to penis types and sexual satisfaction? This ancient philosophy doesn't explicitly classify male genitalia. It's not saying like type A, type B, type C, but it emphasizes the necessary balance and interplay of the yin and yang energies inside of a sexual relationship. In fact, it describes sexual satisfaction as a harmonious dance. It's all about creating a balanced exchange. And when it comes to genitals, it's less about one size fits all, and it's more about what creates a balance in individual combination. What are her genitals like too? The Taoists believe that maintaining Maintaining this balance leads to a healthy and satisfying sex life. Each of these systems offers unique perspectives and they all have their limitations. What's crucial to understand is that all penises are awesome in their own unique way. And as American author and humorist Mark Twain once said, comparison is the death of joy. Pretty sure he was talking about dicks. Penises are as diverse as the faces that we see every day. It's just that since we don't get to actually see them, we don't get to appreciate them in the same way. What's most important is that you feel confident and capable in using your penis to connect with your partner and to feel pleasure yourself. Before I share which types of women prefer which types of penises, I first wanna discuss how to enhance your confidence and your capacity so that you can feel really good no matter what the size, shape, color, circumcised, whatever you have got going on between your legs because every single guy deserves to feel confident in what he is packing. <laughs> Speaking of packing, my gosh. Let me introduce you to the only penis enhancement system that I recommend. This is the Bathmate. 
Boom, baby. This is a penis pump that, unlike traditional pumps, uses warm water instead of air to create a vacuum. Now, if you've ever stretched after getting out of a hot shower or a sauna, you know that heat makes your body a lot more limber, a lot more flexible, it increases blood flow. It does a lot of really good things that when applied to pumping actually creates more width, more length, more girth in your penis. And the cool thing about this is that it doesn't go away. As long as you use the bathmate as it is described in the user manual, you will get to enhance yourself even after you have finished using it. Now, I initially started recommending the bathmate for a completely different purpose, but my clients kept coming back to me and saying, Caitlin, did you know that this thing makes your dick bigger? And at first I was like, I think I would know that. Turns out that is why the majority of people use the bathmate. I had no idea. The first client that used it came back to me and said, Caitlin, after using the bathmate, I'm noticing that I fill out my swim trunks a little bit more. I'm, I'm rocking a bulge. Is that normal? It is a recipe for the most confidence I think you can have in your cock. But you don't have to spring for the fancy thing. If you want to just get the simplest bathmate, they are offering a 10 percent discount to viewers of my channel. Just put in Caitlin 10 when you check out. The URL and the link to check out the bathmate is in the description of this video. I hope that you will check it out and come back and report to me how happy you are with the results. You will be. All right, so now that we have discussed how to enhance your confidence by adding a bit to what you got going on between your legs, let's take a moment to talk about why women prefer the different kinds of penises that they do. Because it is true that not all women prefer long penises, short penises, straight penises, curved penises. And there are very specific reasons for that that have mostly to do with the female genitalia and how different vulvas and vaginas are shaped. Yes, like we said, all penises are unique and shaped differently. The same is true for all vulvas and vaginas. You see, vaginas, just like penises, are not one size fits all. In fact, there are many dimensions of vaginas that influence which type of penis will be her favorite. Let's review some of them right now. Number one, the distance between the clitoris and the vaginal opening. It is scientifically proven that women whose clits are closer to their vaginas are more likely to orgasm with just penetration alone than those who are further away, who might need to add some direct clitoral touch with hands or a vibrator to achieve orgasm with penetration. Penises which are shorter in length tend to be their favorites because they are better for grinding, whereas longer penises can actually be very uncomfortable for grinding. Number two, hooded or exposed clitoris. Women with hooded clits can handle more direct stimulation to their clits because they have a little skin protecting its very sensitive nerve ending packed head. These women might like more thrusting or pounding from their partner than grinding because their clits can take it. Number three, a shallow or deep vaginal canal. Not all women's vaginal canals are the same length and therefore not all women like the same length of penis. Some women can take deep thrusting with ease, whereas others experience the same thing as very, very painful. In fact, some men have to resort to using special cock rings to limit the depth to which they penetrate because her canal may be just too short to take it. So longer is not better in those instances. Number four, a relaxed or tight pelvic floor. Despite what some folks would have you believe, it is nonsense to suggest that tight vaginas are superior to relaxed ones. It is true that women with tighter pelvic floors may prefer thinner penises and may find those penises easier to have sex with. Women with wider and more relaxed pelvic floors may prefer thicker penises as they can feel them more fully. And by the way, this variety exists in all women whether or not they have given birth through vaginal delivery. Some women are naturally more relaxed and wider than others, and most women do relax and widen more with age and experience. Number five, location and sensitivity of the G-spot. Not all G-spots are located in the same place. They're in the same neighborhood, but some are really close to the vaginal opening, like you can even pull them out and see them. Some are two, even three knuckles deep away from the opening. Women with close G-spots sometimes prefer thicker penises to thinner ones because of the sensation. This also depends a lot on the position and the angle of the penis itself. The ratio of thickness between the head and the shaft also makes a difference. So if you have a big thick head but a narrow shaft, she might like feeling the ridge of the head rub up and down against her G-spot. Think of it like ribbing for her pleasure. Some women, on the other hand, find this sensation to be unpleasant. So men who have a similar head to circumference of their penis, in other words, the head 
fits very neatly on top of the penis, there's not quite so much of a ridge, makes for a lot smoother entry and exit, and that might be preferred by some women who, depending on the location of their G-spot, and especially for people who are relatively new to anal sex because of the smoother entrance. Number six, location and sensitivity of the A-spot and the P-spot. These lesser known, very sensitive areas are tucked up next to her cervix and aren't usually exposed until she's been turned on for a while. That said, some penises in some positions are more poised to contact those pleasure spots than others. So when Megan the Stallion expresses her preferences for hooked or slightly crooked penises, this is what she is likely referring to. I'd have to ask her myself just to be sure. Penises that curve a little to either side or even downward or upward towards the tip tend to hit those spots more easily than arrow straight penises. But again, it has a lot to do with the position that these two people are having sex in. For more on the different types of vulvas and vaginas, including how to make love to each one of them, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. And for more on the bath mate and why I think it is the best option for men to enhance their penises, no matter what their penis is like, check out my other video on how to get a bigger penis and go to the link in the description. Use code Caitlin10 at checkout to get 10% off. Remember that when it comes to penis and vulvas and vaginas and the whole shtick, there's no such thing as good or bad. The variety that makes us so cool and interesting and gives rise to all of the incredible sex and connection that we are able to have lives in all of the variety in our genitals. It is something to be celebrated, it is something to be enhanced, and it is something that we can feel very fortunate for. Thank you so much. I hope this has been enlightening. I'm Caitlin V. I will see you here next week. Bye-bye.